The French Revolution, 9-11, and Beyonce. What's the connection between them? The Illuminati. The occult and super powerful secret organization that controls the way the world spins. They are supposed to be very secret. So secret, in fact, that if you Googled them, not only would you find their official website, but you could also join them. You could even buy some Illuminati merch. It doesn't appear to be the secret organization most of us believe them to be. Or this must be fake. Because if the Illuminati was a secret organization, the first rule of this organization would be not to talk about the Illuminati. But do the Illuminati really exist? The short answer is yes. They did historically exist, and there are many people who believe that they have survived to this day. But to see the whole picture, we will have to go several hundred years back to the beginning and see all that has happened since. So before we dive deeper into the rabbit hole, press that subscribe button and let's get started. 1776 is celebrated as the year when the USA began its nationhood. 1776 is also when German professor of law Adam Weishaupt created a secret organization called the Order of Illuminati in Bavaria, Germany. Weishaupt was influenced by the ideas of the Enlightenment, which meant that he believed in reason and individualism over superstition and prejudice. He wanted to pursue his ideals and therefore decided to join the Freemasons, a secret organization devoted to moral and societal reform. Imagine a book reader's club, but for the rich and powerful. Yet, Weishaupt was not able to afford the admission fee and was refused admission. But this was not the end of his history with the Freemasons. He chose five of his best students, and in May of 1776, he arranged the first meeting of the Perfect Tibilists, which soon was rebranded to the Order of the Illuminati. The word Illuminati came from a Latin Illuminatus, which means enlightened. Weishaupt wanted his members to be from a rich background, talented, and under 30, while Jews, pagans, women, and members of other secret societies were specifically excluded. Contrary to popular belief, their logo was not the iconic Eye of Prominence, but the Owl of Minerva, the mythological creature which accompanies the Goddess of Wisdom. All of them operated under cryptic nicknames. Weishaupt chose to be Spartacus. In less than 10 years, the group grew significantly, reaching over 2,000 members and including members from Italy, Poland, and Hungary. Naturally, an organization of this size attracted attention. Therefore, in 1785, the order was disintegrated by newly elected ruler Charles Theodore and his government agents. They feared that the rising power of the order could eventually overthrow the conservative Bavarian monarchy. After the group was disbanded, Weishaupt had to flee his hometown and abandon his mission. He died in 1830, and the original Order of the Illuminati disappeared from the face of the earth. Or did it? This is where facts end and the conspiracies begin. Allegedly, after the order was outlawed, Weishaupt did not cease his activities. He started operating underground. These rumors were started by a book called Proofs of Conspiracy published in 1798. Apparently, the Order of Illuminati merged with another secret organization, the Freemasons. Some historical facts are too eerie to ignore. Thomas Jefferson, one of the founding fathers of the USA, was a Freemason and was aware of Adam Weishaupt. Weishaupt seems to be an enthusiastic philanthropist. He is among those who believe in the indefinite perfectibility of man. George Washington, the first president of the USA, was also a Freemason. Did the Illuminati really infiltrate the highest positions of power by merging with Freemasons? But first, what is Freemasonry? Freemasons are the world's oldest fraternal organization, with its origins dating back to the Middle Ages. It is an organization for men who share a belief in the brotherhood of mankind and seek to surround themselves with like-minded people. It is not a centralized organization. The Freemasons consist of many independent groups known as lodges. Similarly to the Order of the Illuminati, 
women and people of color were not allowed to join the Freemasons. The organization functioned as a place for aristocrats and educated professionals to form strong professional networks. Although politics and religion were prohibited topics of discussion in their meetings, Today, the situation has changed, and the Freemasonry fraternity accepts members of all races. There are now lodges that are created exclusively for women. Among its current and historical members, you can find such names as Benjamin Franklin, Mozart, Winston Churchill, or Shaquille O'Neal. Today, it is estimated that there are around 6 million Freemasons worldwide, of which 1.3 million are in the USA. Obviously, this organization is connected with political power and influence, but they are also a philanthropic organization, and it is reported that they donate up to $2 million to humanist causes daily. Everything sounds innocent. So why are they so feared and associated with the Illuminati? The thing is, their meetings and rituals are shrouded in absolute secrecy and they emphasize the importance of ancient and obscure imagery, which can have an ambiguous meaning. This is where the Eye of the Prominence comes in, the symbol of the Divine Providence, watching over humanity, or the members of the secret lodges watching over us. Nobody knows what happens behind closed doors. Conspiracy theorists spread rumors about animal or even human sacrifices that take place during these rituals, this opens the door for these theorists to associate the Freemasons with Satanism and occultism. This may sound a little far-fetched, but the Catholic Church denounced Freemasonry back in 1738 and has prohibited its members to join the group. But then again, no one knows what happens behind the closed doors. They might as well be baking cookies and playing Uno. According to the Freemasons, they mean no harm and anyone can join them. There is just an informal interview, which will make it clear whether or not you're going to be accepted. Yet, in order to participate in the most mysterious ceremony of initiation for a new member, the Lodge firstly will have to vote whether to accept you or not. And this is something that might be a more difficult threshold to pass. That's why an organization this secret and isolated keeps attracting the conspiracy theorists. Because, yes, with a third of the US presidents listed as former members of the organization, Freemasons do seem like a group that has some influence on political power, and it is this that fuels the conspiracies, claiming that they use this power to try to achieve a new political regime for the entire world. The New World Order The New World Order is a global totalitarian order. This term can be found on the $1 bill. Novus Ordo Seclorum, which means a new order for the ages in Latin. It was supposed to symbolize a new beginning, a new era for America after it established its independence. Yet conspiracy theorists have other ideas. It's just too bizarre to see people of power use this phrase when referring to the ongoing shiftings of global power, like when George Bush Sr. used it back in 1991 when he was still the President of the United States. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. Some see it as proof that they are responsible for staging the world's historical events and shifting the global balance of powers, which includes the Crusades, the French Revolution, the Russian Revolution, 9-11, and the Arab Spring. They are capable of doing so because these elites are in charge of governments, the entertainment industry, the UN, the space program, the global banking system, and basically any other institution. According to the conspiracies, many performers such as Jay-Z, Beyonce, Rihanna, Madonna, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, and Miley Cyrus expressed their link with the Illuminati via visual hints in their music videos, tattoos, or simply hand gestures. 
it's all done to brainwash millions of listeners, using music as an ideological weapon that turns critical and difficult to control individuals into an easily manipulated, short attention span herd of sheep, unlikely to stand in the elite's way as they busily set about establishing the new world order. What happens if someone refuses to follow the rules dictated by the Illuminati? They get killed. The case of the famous rapper Tupac Shakur is often used to illustrate this point. He was recording a studio album called The Don Killuminati, The Seven Day Theory. He explained the term Killuminati like this, I'm putting the K because I'm killing that Illuminati sh**. Tupac was shot dead two months before he managed to release this album. Theories about the demonic Illuminati rulers of the world cover almost every aspect of the modern world. Some theorists go even further, and in the name of truth, they point their fingers not only at the secretive rulers of the world, but at extraterrestrials, Satanists, or even the shape-shifting humanoids, the lizard people. It is easy to lose touch with reality while trying to find an easy, all-explaining solution to the world's problems. Yet, on the other hand, it is fascinating to see just how creative people can get when proposing these puzzling theories. But as long as secret organizations remain covered in secrets, theories like this will not go away. What would you do if you belonged to the Illuminati and had total power of the New World Order? Maybe you do. Let's talk about it in the comments. We have more videos about other mysteries. If you like this one, be sure to check them out as well. Also, you can show your support by liking this video and joining our not-so-secret lodge by subscribing to our channel.